Do you remember those freaky purple Deoxys clones that took over an entire city? Yes, that really did happen. Pokemon the movie Destiny Deoxys, which came with a free card that wasn't a Deoxys, was one of my favorite Pokemon movies growing up. And now, Kids WB presents the US premiere of Pokemon Destiny Deoxys. Things get weird as it focuses on, of course, Deoxys, the first extraterrestrial Pokemon that heavily leaned into its strangeness. Overall, the movie is interesting as we're introduced to Deoxys in a fight scene with Rayquaza. It doesn't end well. Yo, yo, don't do it! Don't do it! Yo! He dead! Oh, he dead for sure! I do always find this part interesting though, even though Deoxys's core remains and it would regenerate later on, would Rayquaza's Hyper Beam have killed any other Pokemon, or is Deoxys just really really fragile? I guess it could be the case, considering Deoxys is apparently a mutated space virus according to the Pokedex. But otherwise I would totally accept the fact that Rayquaza could potentially kill any Pokemon with a Hyper Beam if it really wanted to. I do like this movie because we get to see a lot of other weird quirks Deoxys has that that are unique to it, selling the fact that it's completely alien to any other Pokemon we've met before. Years after this encounter, we catch up with our main heroes traveling to the technological metropolis, LaRue City. They eventually meet up with Tori and his holographic friend, which is actually an astral projection of another Deoxys. The dead Deoxys from years ago rises from the grave and goes on a rampage through LaRue City to find its friend. And here is where things get crazy because it proceeds to duplicate itself and has its purple Deoxys clones fly around the city, getting rid of anything electronic which in this city is basically everything, including hot dog vending robots. And Deoxys is really just looking for its friend, but because of the way that it sees things, all of the people, Pokemon, and electricity are getting in the way. I honestly love this main conflict because it's basically a science fiction alien thriller. A technologically advanced city being overrun by duplicating aliens? Come on. It really just solidifies my stance that Pokemon as a whole is a sci-fi fantasy. And when all the power is out in the city, some of the sequences with all the clone Deoxys really get pretty creepy. And just like our friends Virus Groudon and Golem Celebi, the clone Deoxys provide yet another terrifying anime-only form for a legendary or mythical Pokemon. Like I mentioned, Deoxys has a plethora of unique abilities that can be shrugged off as it just being a freaky extraterrestrial Pokemon. But of course the Pokedex entry that states it's a mutated space virus is really the key to this mystery, hence why it's primarily based on DNA and is able to replicate itself. But it is just crazy that one Deoxys can create an entire army of clones and overrun a city. Again, I think this is a great concept and seeing something new in a Pokemon movie is always great. But these Deoxys clones are honestly so creepy. They're not as giant and scary as, again, some of the other weird forms we've seen before, but their sheer number and presence is terrifying. And instead of the vibrant red of the original, all of the clones are a dull purple and they have hollow eyes, adding to the extraterrestrial horror aesthetic. And of course, the fact that Deoxys just naturally has those wiggly tentacle arms doesn't make things any better. Imagine an entire swarm of these things carrying off one of your friends. Well, you don't have to imagine because that literally happens in the movie. Of course, the two Deoxys are reunited and eventually Rayquaza shows up again and things get even crazier when all of the cute robots around the city go berserk. And even though this is the true climax, it honestly just feels like small potatoes when compared to all of the Deoxys clones running around. But I wonder, can we really consider this something like an alternate form. It's really just additional projections of the original Deoxys and they function similarly. They do seem pretty different, at least in terms of look, and adding to this fact is this just isn't something that appears in the main games. I don't know. All I know is that this was yet another freaky Pokemon encounter of the third kind. Stay in your seat. The US premiere of Pokemon Destiny Deoxys will return in a moment on Kids WB. But anyway, hey, this is Gatorx, and let me know what you think. Have you seen this movie, Pokemon Destiny Deoxys? One of my favorite Pokemon movies, or at least one that I watched quite a bit, uh, you know, when I was younger. And, uh, you know, I, I think it still holds up. But then again, you know, there, there are a bunch of really good Pokemon movies. But this one, pretty interesting, pretty crazy, especially with the clone Deoxys. So let me know what you think about that as well. And uh, honestly, let me know what you think of this kind of format, because uh, I... I 
I don't typically like do reviews or the retrospectives on the movies, uh, mostly just like maybe one aspect of the movie that I want to talk about. Maybe in the future, you know, I'll discuss like the full movie at length or maybe sometime, hopefully uh, we can organize one of the watch streams again. Uh, you know, that'd be fun. I think I only did that like once for um, Rise of Darkrai, which that was pretty cool and pretty fun. But hopefully maybe we can bring those back. And uh, yeah, ju just let me know what you think of, I guess, the format overall. I I if anything, I think that's probably what I'd end up doing with the Pokemon movies, just uh, having watch live streams and then just individual videos about just, you know, as different aspects about them. But uh, thank you so much for voting on the poll, for uh, interacting in the community posts as well. It's been it's been pretty cool. And uh, that's, you know, been a good way to to. Uh, get interaction but i mean I'm, I'm going on a little too long if you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe uh drop some applause if you're able to and you can also check out my anime channel where i'm discussing Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's re-zero and hopefully some other anime in the future and uh if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe to show your support you can enable notifications by clicking that bell icon next to the subscribe button it'll make sure you see each new video as it comes out anyway this has been gatorax have a nice day